Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is specially for Ryzen users who are getting high temperature even in idle state. So in this video, I will show you how to get better thermals using the default box cooler. So let's get started. If you are getting higher temperature, it's probably because you are using the stock AMD cooler. In my case, it's the Red Stell cooler that I got with Ryzen 5 3600. I was using this cooler for a while and I was getting idle temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Celsius, which is not good for CPU. Every CPU works on a frequency and to generate higher frequency, we need more voltage. But with higher voltage comes higher temperature. So to lower the temperature, we need to lower the frequency of CPU. In technical terms, it's called underclocking or downclocking. There are two methods to do this. First one is using the motherboard utility. In my case, the motherboard is from MSI and their tool is called Dragon Center. And second one is through Ryzen Master. It's a tool from AMD to control the CPU. If you have MSI motherboard, there is an all-in-one tool called the Dragon Center. From there, you can navigate to performance section. In my version, it's called user scenario. From there, you need to select silent. Doing this, the frequency as well as the thermal of CPU will be reduced. Here are the results. The default temperature is around 60 degree and the CPU is running at 3.3 to 4 gigahertz. After turning on the silent mode, the frequency falls to 2.8 gigahertz and the temperature is around 46 degrees. This is one click solution, but if you want total control, you need to go to customize and select CPU frequency. In the ratio field, enter a value. Now this value into 100 is the CPU frequency. So for 2.5 GHz, we need to set the value to 25. You may have noticed that for silent mode, the fans were running at 20%. Here we can make them run at 100% to get better thermals. Here I got 44 degrees after switching the fans to full capacity which means I got 2 degree difference as compared to silent mode. So this was the first method. Now the second method will work on motherboards from any vendor. You need to download Ryzen Master from AMD website. Link is below the like button. In Ryzen Master, select a custom profile and rename it to underclock. Now go to manual mode and change the frequency to 2.5 GHz and then reduce the peak voltage to 1.1 volts. You can go below this threshold, but you need to do some stress test every time you decrease the voltage. Remember, if the CPU doesn't get enough voltage, the whole system will crash. If something goes wrong, you can uninstall Ryzen Master and revert back to default profile. So that's it for this video. The next video will be on overclocking Ryzen processor. I hope this video was helpful to you. For more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.